But guys, like the host said, my name is Ruthie Ferreira. And, and I'm a Leo. And you know what they say about Leos, right? Leos are always wanting to have all the attention. Leos are lazy cats. Leos always want to hog up the spotlight. So guess what? I'm going to be up here for a while. <laughs> So get ready to call in sick tomorrow. <laughs> so guys, I love astrology. When I was a little girl, I used to read the daily horoscopes in the newspaper by the crime section. So I know a poisonous two-faced crab when I see one. Y'all good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so good with astrology that I can tell what's your sign just by the way you laugh. So if you laugh, hey, huh, hey, huh, you're an ass. <laughs> so guys, I'm what you call a Latina, a black Latina. <laughs> si, yo hablo español. I'm a Latina of sweet chocolate. My pronouns are her, she. <laughs> ah! Chocolate lovers over here. Slow coconuts over there. <laughs> wow, so guys, if you're also detecting a Caribbean accent from me, you're right. I was born and raised in a large mainland known for strong tobacco, exotic animals, and baseball called El Bronx. <laughs> And El Bronx is cool, but man, I gotta admit it's dangerous, it's tough. Man, and growing up, I had to deal with thugs, gangsters, and swindlers. And that was just my church. <laughs> wow, and in El Bronx, I tell you, man, it wasn't easy dating in the Bronx. Oh, it wasn't easy, because the choices, the options you have were limited. Either you date the one that just got out of prison, or date the one that's headed to prison, <laughs> or date the one that's free but cannot spell prison. <laughs> wow, I tell you, but it wasn't easy being single overall. I tell you because I was one of those that I would be easily attached to men. I don't know if it was because I didn't grow up with a dad, or growing up Latina, it was ingrained in us since embryo to get married, find a man, get married, and torture him. <laughs> wow, so growing up, uh, my friends grew, uh, it's like, yeah, torture him, and uh, we were basically raised to be Attila the Honey. Yeah, but growing up, my friends grew up watching Sesame Street to learn how to count and spell. I watched telenovelas to learn how to put a spell on men. <laughs> I tell you, but this crazy upbringing, wow, it just, it was too much. It made me insecure with men. I tell you, I couldn't have a man leave my sight. When there would be a man in my house and I catch him look at the door, I'll be like, where are you going? You know, you can't just come here, drop your stuff and leave. Come on, let me make you a sandwich. You know what, let me pour you a drink. How about, you know what, why don't you stay for dinner? He goes, lady, could you sign for this package? I left my truck running outside. <laughs> I tell you, it wasn't easy, man. But, uh, you know, eventually this crazy, desperate housewife upbringing led me to get married and have kids, you know, motherhood. Not a hood you want to be around. <laughs> it's dangerous. There's drive-by smacks. There's ear pulling and threats. Like, shut up before I give you something to cry about. 
eat your vegetables before I stab you with a fork. <laughs> and finish your homework so I don't have to sleep with the principal again. <laughs> and I got tired of hearing that from my mother. Well, guys, I want to thank you very much. My name is Ruthie Ferreira. Oh.